Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Pastor Sammy here uh, for another stream, another quick stream before I go to the gym. Try to burn through some uh, champs, get some quick points, and so I can start this Friday. It's, it's going to feel good because. Uh, oh my god, somebody scared me. Daddy, why you scared me like that? <laughs> why you scared me, sir? <laughs> Oh man, my son is. Oh, Terry's in the house. What's happening, Terry, my friend, my awesome friend? How you doing, big guy? So good to see you. I haven't seen you in ages, man. I totally miss you, brother. Mm. <laughs> my heart gave me a heart attack, guy. Did you see how he jumped at me? Polar pragmatic. So, what was your previous name before? Because I see you're a mod in here. I don't remember the new name. When did you change your name, brother? So, uh, yes, guys, so we have Mr. Terry in the house. I see we got the, the what is it called, the, the basics that popped up. Those are very good. They get my 12 million out of the five-star feature because I wanted to get... Uh... So, Joshua is polar. Oh, my friend Joshua. I didn't know that. So, we got the John Wesley. What's going on, my friend John? Jen is in the car, man. I like that. All the mods is in the house already. I love it. But let's get going because I have to get the day going. Go hit the gym. Cardio first. Uh, shoulders and arms. We gotta do the the bazookas. You know what I mean? If you guys know what I mean. Boom, boom, daddy. Let me see. Come show some muscles over here. Let me see. Check this out, guys. Check this out. No, come. Why I want to see the forearm a little bit more. Not time to flex. Now let me kiss it. Let me kiss it. Guys, check out the definition right here. Look when he's flexing. Look at this right here. Just a little bit right here. See this right here? This is called bicep, my friend. Look at this. This is called the definition from the bicep. Now go. <laughs> Look at that. You see how it goes up like this? This is called bicep, my friend. Let me kiss it. Mm, so sweet. Well, that's a sweet bicep right there, guys. Very sweet. This guy is the beast. But anyway, let's get going before I get way too pumped. Let's go. All right, all right, but well, awesome. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Derek, aka Jason Boy, man? That was so funny. <laughs> Pastor Sammy getting too aggressive in <laughs> <Not> officer chat. <laughs> oh, I couldn't start laughing, my friend. You really cracked me up, man, with that comment. <laughs> Pastor Sammy is a savage, man. Oh, dude, that was that was good. That was good. <laughs> Uh, Jeff is, hey, what's going on, Derek? And Derek is welcoming uh, uh, John Wesley. But guys, you know me, Pastor Sammy, when he starts the stream, we always have to start with Jesus, man. We need Jesus, guys. I know Derek, he killed me, man. That was a cool comment. I was like, whoa, that was funny. <laughs> Pastor Sammy's a savage. <laughs> yes, my friends, I'm a savage. Big time savage. In a, in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> hey, you're a slacker. Get out of here. <laughs> Why you fire me? You're a pastor. You can fire me. That's the reason I fire you because I'm a pastor. Because you're a slacker. Get out of here, man. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for praying for my surgery. Awesome. Oh, we're going to pray again right now, my friend. You want good? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Um, Daddy, we're going to make a quick prayer. You want to help me out with the prayer? Okay. Okay, come on here. But uh, no, no iPhone. Only pray, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, the sapphire, sapphire. Sam, I've got so much explaining to do. I'm so sorry for not being here, my friend. Oh, my friend! Come on, man! You scared me. I thought it was like uh, something bad happened. This is not a big deal, man. This is not a big deal. We do this for for fun, man. Uh, we just want to hang out, have fun. It's I'm doing this for you, my awesome friend. But uh, I'm glad you're over here because we, we're about to start with the prayer for uh, asking for God's blessing. And there's nothing more important in this life to start the day, to start the week with God's blessing. I mean, it's good to start on your own. But if you have God's back on you, I mean, he's backing you up. He's blessing you. He just got your back, man. It's the best way to start with Jesus. So I'm going to start the day with the word of prayer. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you once again for this awesome day. Thank you once again for this couple uh, moments we were able to hang out on this stream 
and talk about you but father first of all we just want to come to you right now to thank you for what you've done for me for us on the cross that you came to this world 2000 years ago for one purpose you came to die you knew you're gonna get beat up and punished you knew that from the beginning but you took all that punishment and all that beating because you didn't want none of us to go to that place called hell so thank you for saving me from hell thank you for saving everyone on this stream that believes in you and accepted you into their hearts as lord and savior from hell you saved them as well so thank you for that it's something that none of us deserve and he told us not because we deserve it you told us i saved you because of the grace and the love you have for us so thank you jesus for sending thank you god for sending your own son to die for us on the cross because you didn't want none of us to perish but to go to heaven and be with you and have everlasting life so father i pray right now through the power of the holy spirit if it's anyone in this stream that don't know you but they want to go to heaven when they die and they want to have that sin forgiven and the whole uh, uh, filled with your joy in their heart uh, please help them to say yes to you god yes to that free gift of salvation that you offer in us right now so they can go to heaven as well please speak to them on the way they understand because we don't pressure we don't force anybody over here we're just sharing the good news that you taught us to do right before you went to heaven if that's you my friend and if you want jesus as i mentioned earlier please accept that free gift of salvation by repeating this prayer after me and mean it from your heart lord jesus thank you so much for dying for me on the cross Thank you so much for loving me, and thank you so much for caring for me. I believe in you, Father. I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe that you died for me on the cross. I receive you into my heart as Lord and Savior. Please forgive me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And Father, at the end of this prayer, I bring to you all my special cases that I always pray for, but right now we just want to make a quick uh, thank you prayer for my friend, my friend John Wesley, that uh, the surgery went okay. So thank you for uh, helping him with that surgery. But right now I bring my old cases that I would pray for John, real deal, Alex42, and every single person out there on this stream that's got difficult times. And I know there's a lot of people like my friend, my friend Prater, the New Zealand uh, friend from. Um, the friend from New Zealand that he's got that uh, temple gym and uh, he's got problem with his partners with his partner wants to kick him out and to stop the word of God and just to share the uh, sell the business so they can just he could get the money out of it so father I pray that you please help that ministry to keep on continuing with that gym so that gym will move forward so other people can come to your kingdom so please help them protect them and provide uh, for his uh, business over there and open uh, the eyes of his partner to stop him from what he's trying to do and there's so much going on into this world that we need you father please bless heal help every single person on this world and especially to this stream that's listening right now and at the end of this prayer it is i always ask you to speak to us through your word please clean our hands our lips and our soul in jesus name we pray amen all right, guys, so let's open pretty quick the, <clears throat> the Bible and let's read the verse of the day. And today, my awesome friends, the verse of the day, it's from Proverbs. Let me change the translation to New Living Translation over here. ASV, uh, American Standard Version. I don't really like that version. Um, like, for example, if I want to read the uh, American Standard Version, look how it, sounds. It, looks, it reads, Jehovah's appeared of old unto me saying yeah i have loved thee with the everlasting love therefore with loving kindness have have i joined thee i mean who understands that i barely read it but new living translation is more understandable long ago the lord said to israel i have loved you my people with everlasting love with unfolding love i have drawn you to myself dude i think i read this one I thought I read this one already yesterday, no? Sounds the same. Is it? I guess it's the same one. Oh, there we go. It changed. People who accept discipline 
out on a pathway to life because I read it this morning I'm like it doesn't sound like I read it it's the same from yesterday so I refreshed it so people who accept discipline are on a, path, a pathway to life I mean that's a good verse but nobody loves to accept nobody loves to accept the discipline everybody's like tripping like oh try to discipline somebody or tell somebody hey whatever you're doing is not wrong it's not right <laughs> it's not wrong everybody loves to hear that hey Sammy whatever you're doing is not wrong keep, keep continue no if you tell somebody to stop, repent, come to Jesus, or turn away, people don't like it. I mean, it's hard. But if you accept this discipline, uh, and whoever does that, it's on a pathway to life. But those who ignore the correction will go astray. So if you're like, hey, get away with me, all that stuff, hey, you go astray, man. I'm not, this is what the Bible says, it's not me. But anyway, let's get going over here. Let's get going, my awesome dudes, because I got to get going as soon as I can. Another my stream. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sadler, that's right. Uh, so basically, months ago, my mom got uh, wrapped up in the MCSU world and, and I got addicted. I managed to quit the game and clear up my mind now. Here about six months I started the game four days ago. Uh oh. <laughs> Love me the game more than ever. <laughs> Amen from John. Amen from uh, my friend um, Derek. Amir, welcome back, Amir. How you doing, brother? I had the deathless war till the bus. I could have had him if I wanted. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> hey, my friend, I know you're a beast, man. You're a monster. My friend Amir. Sammy, how is your wife? Uh, my friend, uh, baby, are you here? My f my wife is somewhere over here, my friends. But tonight I'm planning to take, to take out my wife on, uh, on a date night. Date night, so tonight I'm not doing any work. I told uh, I told the guys that I'm doing programming for, like, hey, Fridays. Uh, I'm taking that off. No programming. I just want to hang out, have fun, ha have fun with my lovely wife, and just spend some time with her. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> oh Caleb, Caleb was in the house. Stopping by and drop a like. I'll launch a work. Oh my friend Caleb, so good to stop by, my friend. It's so good to see you, my awesome dude. My awesome dude, Caleb. It's nice. Thank you, John. Uh, okay, Sammy is gonna be having a date. Woohoo! Hey, every Saturday, every Friday, man. Every Friday, man. Take care of my lady. You have to, man. When you get married. Oh man, I just love hanging out with my wife. I'm telling you guys. My wife is the bomb. She's the bomb diggity. Or like my son said, she's the bomb dickity. My wife is the bomb, man. I'm telling you, man. Man, look at this Loki, man. He, he's like a savage. <laughs> now I'm going to use that, uh, Mr. Jason. Savvy is a savage. That's right, my friend. <laughs> Oh, you like that, Jen? I know, man. You have to, my friends. Oh, I forgot this guy have to intercept. Sometimes it doesn't go for the parries. Oh, it's too early. Here we go. Too early again. Come on. Come on, ugly guy. He knows it's going down. I don't know why he doesn't release a special. Come on. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. So when I pulled a King Groot, I wasn't too happy. But hey, can't complain, man. I heard somebody told me, uh, Savage Sammy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. 
You guys, you guys transform me into a savage, man, because I'm too soft over here. Like, Pastor Sam is way too weak, man. I'm like, all right. Gotta step up a notch. No, but the, the honest truth is this, man. It's not fair because I see a lot of people put in the hard work. A lot of people put in the hard work and it breaks my heart to see those guys putting all the hard work and then, then they're gonna leave because those people, you know, they're not active. So it's not fair. It's not fair for the people um, that, you know, they're not active. I mean, yeah, I understand, you know, they don't want to jump in to grab the rewards, but hey, you're not here. We're not here as a retirement, you know what I mean? And if you uh, decided to take some time off or something, I have no problem with that. I'm totally for it. But you got to let me know. Dr. Strange, what's the link, my friend? King oh. <laughs> oh, I just said it and Dr. Strange heard me, man, because I know he loves Groot. Hey, what's going on, my friend? I Church Pastor. My friend, guys, Mr. I Church is another bodybuilder. And he sent me a picture yesterday. I'm not sure if I still have it. And he looks beast, man. I'm like, wow. Let me see. Is it iChurch? iChurch pastor. Guys, check this out, man. Look look at those guns on this guy, man. I mean, hey, I don't know about you, but this guy's got some really serious guns going on over there. And I don't want to mess around with this. Look at this huge i mean that little peak right there i mean i see twin peaks yeah I mean, if you guys remember that movie a long time ago i think it used to be a series twin peaks i used to watch it in romania i forgot what it was all about or some kind of mystical science or something crazy <clears throat> so that's i'm gonna call mr i church from now twin peaks man because he's worse savage than i am Mr. Mr. I, I Church Pastor, man, you just unbelievable, my friend. You motivate me. Keep on going, you know what I mean? I need to catch up. Uh, Sam, if you parry him, he doesn't have furies because he loses one every debuff. Uh, put on him. Ah, sometimes I go for the parry, you're right. I don't like King Groot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sabi, it's not fair. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Killable, what did you say? <laughs> or you? Uh, uh oh, you heard me. <laughs> you <wild> witch. <laughs> there is the link. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Twin Peaks, I told you, man. I like the Twin Peaks going on over there. Bro, how are you, my friend, to come? Hey, the pleasure is all mine, my friend. The pleasure is all mine. As a matter of fact, when I finished the stream on my friend, uh, uh, I church pastor, I told my wife about you. I was like, baby, check this out. This guy, he's a senior pastor, and I like me a rookie. He's a senior pastor, and he's been sharing the gospel for the past 20 years. And I'm like, he's a beast in MC. Because <laughs> my, wife, my wife thinks I'm crazy playing this game. But, hey, you know what? I play this game, but at least uh, we do it. We do it, all of us, right now for God's glory. Like everybody that comes in here, I know we have only seven people watching, but guess guess what? We have God, His angels. Oh man, He's got a lot of angels, and the viewing that we have onto this channel right now—it's out of this world. We have the most subscribers and the most viewers right now, and that's in heaven, and you cannot be that. So having this channel talking about God. His grace, His love, what He's done for us, dying for us on the cross, nobody can beat it. Nobody can beat that, guys. So our channel is the bomb, so I told my wife, hey, we're having fun over here, man, because we're having Jesus in the house, you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's what I mean. It doesn't make any sense. But God knows. God looks at the heart, my awesome friends. God looks at the hearts. Oh my gosh, I messed up on the last second. Only on the stream I do that, but when I play it myself, I do much better. But it's okay, we didn't lose the streak. Watch, I'm gonna lose the streak on the next one. <laughs> oh man. King Rook is OP. I heard that he's OP if he's awakened, right? Oh my gosh, Gwenpool destroyed that dude. 
haha <laughs> duck I'll pay my taxes <laughs> burn the witches <laughs> what my wife cracks me up too oh man that's why God blesses I was some uh, some beautiful lovely wife hey look who's in the house my friend curly fried hey when are you gonna come back to uh, pastor gaming pastor Sammy gaming man we want to have you back man Jesus is the champion of it. That's right, my friend. I cannot agree more, man. I cannot agree more. Watch, next time they're going to put Jesus as a character in the game. <laughs> and then Jesus doesn't even have to fight. Just move in the hand and the people just die. <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> oh, that'll be funny. All right, back to work. Have a blessed day, everyone. And guys, hey, my friend, the Caleb, thank you so much for choosing those couple minute moments of your break to just be here with us, man. I really appreciate it, my awesome dude. I uh, made the little bless you. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. And it meant a lot that uh, you came and uh, chose to spend your um, uh, break time and those couple moments of fellowshipping with us and talking about Jesus. It really makes my day, guys. I'm telling you guys, I really enjoy it. Oh, I was too far apart. I was too far. Too far. Archangel, man. Don't mess up with Archangel, man. I can't believe Archangel, man. He's four star, man. Four star is like head to head with the five star. I'm, t I'm telling you, man. I know uh, Doctor Strange, he, uh, he was using his Archangel five stars, rank four. And I was getting pretty close to the amount of hits. With mine, well, when mine is a four star when taking down the Winter Soldier. Hey, Mr. Swayam. Hi, brother. How are you? I uh, we're trying to go to my 550s pretty quick so I can go to the gym and do some cardio so I can catch up to my friend uh, Twin Peaks. If you don't know who's Twin Peaks over there, maybe Mr. Art Church can explain who Twin Peaks is. Because he's a monster and I need to catch up to him. I need to get a little bit leaner. And cardio, man. We gotta do the cardio, man. I start with the cardio every day, every day, nonstop, an hour, an hour and a half. Saturday, I get on the real bike. I do almost 40 hours, and every other day, weights in the gym. So cardio it's every day, but weights it's every other day because I need to give a little bit uh, um, break to my joints to recover because obviously I like to go heavy, and the joints are screaming. So as soon as I feel the joint pain, I, I back up a little bit. Because once you damage the joints, then it really I'll be out of gym for like a long time. A really long time. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, void and Sentry. Two-sided is like the spirit in the flesh. <laughs> uh, I lose those angels. <laughs> nice. Back to strange time, to just chilling. Doctor Strange, uh, I know that uh, um, if if you have time to jump in with the Skype and also uh, I Church Past, if you have some time to jump on Skype, um, I'm not sure if you have Skype, but uh, I turn on my Skype right now. So if you guys want to come in, we'd love to hear from you, uh, my friend Derek. If you have some time, will will mean a lot to me that um, you'll join a little bit. Okay. Derek right now it shows that his thing is off. Let me see if I can can, can call Derek. Let's see, can can we get a hold of Derek? Did you get the five star gold pool? Yeah my friend, I, I put like 30 32 million. I got time, give me a minute. Awesome. Mr. Derek, can you join us? Let's see if... Uh, give me about 20 minutes, bro, in the car. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Love to hear from you, my friend, I church pastor. Let's see, I have the Skype on. But I don't know what happened. Like lately, I've been having the Skype on and people calling me, but I don't hear the thing unless I look at the screen. 
and I see it. Everything is turned down, like all the all the all the volumes. I don't know what's going on. But Doctor Strange, is, I'm pretty sure, is going to be probably the first one to jump in. I did it too early. That's my fault. Nice rug. Good job. Just finishing LOL. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you have any screenshots you can post it for us? I can show everybody. I was trying to call you, uh, Mr. Derek. I'm sorry. I hopefully didn't mess you up over there. Did you see me calling? Because I'm not sure if you, because I got so many Derek's in here on my Skype. I'm not even sure if I called the right one. So was I calling you earlier, a couple seconds ago? Just making sure. I can't wait to get the uh, eye church bastard in here. That's gonna be so cool. Nice, Mr. Thor. I didn't say call actually, or we just saying in the chat just because. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll take a shot. I'm still going. But I'm done with Deadpool X Force now. Oh, nice. Nice, man. It's going to be a good feeling when you finish. A, uh, are you going for the 100% completion right now, or just the easy path? I was wondering what kind of champs you're using. Are you using something monster? I'm pretty sure you're probably using that uh, Luke Cage that you have over there, that monster guy. You have that uh, Luke Cage. You have a, was it Luke Cage that you have? Derek is your uh, uh, six star rank two, right? Not too many people, you see what the six stars rank two. Okay, Dr. Strange is calling. See, I looked at the screen and I saw him, but it wasn't ringing. Dr. Strange. Hello, Terry. How's it going, uh, little... Uh, Oh, use the, use the precious. Oh, that was the precious. What was the precious one? Precious. Ooh, nice. So what's new, my friend, uh, Doctor Strange? So much, man. Just trying to collect two thousand units for LOL. Man, everybody, everybody's going for LOL. That's like my end goal for this game. Nice. So done with LOL. I'm pretty much probably probably going to retire because, in my opinion, LOL is like the end goal for this game. Oh, uh, just wait until uh, wait until the year is over, because they always gonna. Because I heard that the people complaining, the high uh, prestige people, all these people, they finish everything, and uh, they're losing interest into the game. So I heard something monster is coming. So don't quit just yet. Just hang tight, hang tight. I still got more to go, Sammy. Act huh. six is coming. I don't know when. I predict maybe the end of this year. Maybe that would make sense. And that's gonna be way better rewards than. Uh, Way better rewards than than a labyrinth hundred percent completion. I'll bet. Because like what I foresee, the hundred the hundred percent for Act Five or Act Six, excuse me, Act Six hundred percent. The rewards are probably like a tier five class callus, tier six basic cat, or something like that. Because like it, they they show like an image of like a tier six basic cat, like a giant like cube looking thing. It's really really cool. And then there's gonna be a whole bunch of uh, five star awakening gem. It has to. I think a six star ra awakening gem crystal would be there. Yeah, that was gonna be sick. Oh, you did? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm using Gwenpool and Stark and Void. Oh. Gwenpool, I know, is good. Stark. Oh, awesome. And Void. 
Yellow Kid just ranked two. It's a beast, man. Yeah, Doc is here, man. Let me put him on the screen so you guys know who I'm talking to. Oh, let me put this on pause. Doctor Strange, here we go. Put him on the screen right there. Yes, I'm looking forward uh, to see um, what's going to happen. Is because I'm pretty sure if I'm going to wait a little bit longer, like when I did my Labyrinth Easy Pad, I did with the four stars, and obviously it was a lot of work. I mean, I'm not going to agree. I didn't spend a dime because you know, I was grinding from Monday through Saturday, and on Sunday I was doing Labyrinths, so all the units. I grind throughout the week, I just waste them on Sunday. But um, right now, with the uh, blade, man, it makes it so easy and he regens, he can parry, no problem. And it makes it fun. I mean, the fights, I mean, I did the Red Hulk less than 300, I told you guys so many times. I'm like, man, I enjoyed it because first time I entered the labyrinth with my four stars, man, each champs I have to die a whole bunch of times because you hit the third enrager and you, you're done. And uh, so right now I just, oh, it's just for practice, like, you know, solo the Red Hulk and uh, just join people to the next fight. It makes it look so much fun and so much easier. So uh, I'm thinking if I'm going to wait until December, grab some more units, maybe something else better will come across or maybe I'll get uh, my Gwenpool Awakened because she's rank 4 right now, but she's not Awakened because I need her to help me against that uh, Spider-Man and Electro. Or maybe, can I use Blade against Electro and regen, just play uh, cautiously? What do you guys think? I didn't try it. I would think so. I haven't like, really seen that much gameplay on Electro, so I'm not too sure about that. I'm pretty sure somebody in here already done that. No, just curious. And also, I have another question I was going to ask you guys on the stream. I was thinking for my next... I'm, st I'm still need some cats and whatever, but my next... Uh, Five stars should be a magic, which is awakened. She's already ranked four, or or Gwenpool, or X twenty three. That's oh. tricky. I'd say magic. I was thinking about magic, but then because I'm doing so much work with X twenty three and uh, AQ, because I'm using Blade and Medusa and Alliance War with Ghost Rider, but I don't have any rank fives for AQ and like something beast. I went yesterday against the. The mini boss with the magic map three, and it took me over a hundred hits to take down the mini boss. I'm like, man, it takes forever. If I would have blade, would have been down about uh, 60, 70 hits the mini boss. So I'm thinking, I was just thinking X23 magic. Gwenpool probably helped me against uh, on a labyrinth a lot. So those are my three choices. So you say magic? Yeah, I say magic. Who do you use out of all three of them most? Uh, well, in uh, AQ, I'm using X23 like crazy because she regens, but she's not awakened right now. I mean, she's still regens, but she's unawakened, and that's I use her for most of the questing on AQ. When I go against some uh, mini boss, I'm bringing magic because I get the SP2's deal. But obviously, I died yesterday. I was doing uh, against the Dormammu with uh, magic. I was doing that the backdraft, and uh, sometimes he kind of feels what's going on, and then as soon as he back up, he came right after me like a, a, with a different style, and he clipped me, and I was dead. And uh, so I have to bring a nebula to to finish the to take out the mama. He, he's got two nodes on, but it wasn't it wasn't the, uh, the nodes are too bad. I think it was unblockable SP one and some kind of attack or something. But he was he, he went down. But I was thinking if I would have blade in there, man, their mama would have been down very fast. Because I have Ghost Rider all the time. So Gwenpool mm. for quest says uh Swam. Gwenpool is beast, but X23 is a lot. Uh, I like a lot as a five star. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Imagine X23 or Gwenpool, what do you guys decide? I'll say, Gwen, I'll say Gwenpool. Gwenpool, right? The only thing for Gwenpool is she doesn't region. And I'm thinking for me, I need something that uh, they region. That's why it's so hard for me to make a decision. I mean, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while until I, I get there. I only have one uh, tier 5 basics right at the moment. 
Now this time I'm gonna need some tier two alphas as well. Magic for Alliance or Defense and AQ and much more. Like right now for Lions World, I'm using Blade, Medusa, they're both a rank 5s, five, 5 stars. And Ghost Rider, also it's a rank 4, 5 star uh, for the synergy. So I'm using those two in Alliance War just to do a lot of damage. Because you know the Alliance War is getting a little bit uh, uh, it's getting a little bit more challenging lately. I mean not lately, but it's gonna get it's gonna get a little bit more harder. So I wanted to have a monster team over there. That's kind of my plan. Yeah, so but that's what I'm I'm debating. So I wanted to see what you guys think. No, but is, is, your, is your grandpa awakened? Yeah, she's not. The only one awakened, it's only my magic. Gwenpool is not awakened. X23 not awakened, but I do have a mist not mystic uh, mutant. I have a mutant gem. Man, that was a 19k crit. Nice Scarlet Witch. Yeah, so Gwenpool is not duped. And obviously, the only way I would have taken her out is she's duped. Because obviously, there's no point to bring her. And the only way, the only thing I'm just thinking about the rank 4, I mean the rank 5 her, is just for Labyrinth. Because I don't need another bleeder, I already have a blade. And as far as quests, I'm using, I'm not using her in the quests. I mean, I'm not using her in the AQ. I'm using her only in the quests. So as far as a quest, it's not that critical because I mean, it's not that important. So on the quest, I'm using magic. I'm in AQ. I'm using magic, R4, X23, R4. So magic, X23. Where's the other one? Oh, magic, X23. Did I say Gwenpool? You say Gwenpool, magic, X23. Do I have those in my... Oh no, I think I have a Nebula, 6 stars. I have Nebula, 6 stars, an AQ. That's the that's the third one. Because she's double immune and sometimes some people don't clean the nodes on time. So I take the nodes on an AQ with my, uh, with my Nebula because she's double immune. And if you make a mistake, like you take one bad hit, she regens like instantly. I think magic if you want to make defense. Oh, I'm not using her on defense though because I always have the suicides on, so I'm not turning on the mystic dispersion. But if I put her, if I put her in um, a defense, blade, I mean blades will destroy her like in, in zero time. Um, she will go down fast. But when pull when uh, duped does not get killed, get killed by specials. But yeah. I think Gwenpool, perfect choice. So you say Gwenpool, Doctor Strange said uh, magic, right? Yep. I changed my mind to Gwenpool actually, because she doesn't need to be awakened to be good. Like the only thing that grants her special or her sick her, um, her awakened ability is that she pretty much won't die to a special attack. Daddy, what'd you say? Handle. What handles, Papa? Oh, oh. Um, for the firing, um, for the firing, um, for the firing area, on mm -hmm. those things mm. where you use them, that's what I'm asking. Oh, but give me a kiss. You forgot to give me a kiss, my love. Do you know where they are? Daddy. Couple, couple hugs, couple hugs, hugs. Daddy, do you uh. know where they are? No, Daddy, I don't know. Where is Jupiter? Should I stay in the thing? Oh, nice. So Gwenpool, you guys leaning towards Gwenpool, huh? But even though she's not awakened, still take her to R5. Because I'm thinking if she's not awakened, won't help me in the labyrinth. I was thinking if I get her awakened, she'll help me a lot in the labyrinth. Uh, but I'm thinking just to use her for the labyrinth only, just for those two fights. Probably I can die with Blade a whole bunch of times going against that Electro and try to regen and play like very safety and Chunan. Uh, um, 
don't do any specials try to see if i can regen as much as possible i have to do some tests before if blade will be able to stand go with like a two star i don't have a two star or maybe with a three star blade against a electro but where is the electro in the game that i can practice on do you guys know any electros i don't know are there any into uh, roto, roto labyrinth or a map uh, an act four i can check thank you sir no problem but at least i got two good champs blade and medusa r5s i i don't regret that option i got a couple of guys in here in my lines they got some medusas up there so i'm like wow nice and because of me, I always run the suicides. It does help me a lot because she's poison immune, so I take very less damage. The way to play Phoenix, guys, is nothing but heavies. You know that, right? Yep. Boom. But the only thing is, I hope they would keep her furies up because the furies goes up and it goes right back down, it goes up and right back down. I'm like, oh man! I was hoping that, that they can keep the furies up. Man, look at Electra. She's on the mood. She's on the roll today. Gabriel, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Man, I like it. You got the, you got the, you see the comments before I see them. So you, you need to as quicker than mine. Because you welcome, you say welcome Gabriel, and as barely you finish welcoming him, the comment barely popped up on my end. So that's pretty cool. My friend Gabriel, man, I love it. Everybody's a mod in here. That is the coolest thing ever, man. <laughs> Dude, I love it, man. It's crazy, man. Everybody's in my ads, right, man? I love all of you guys. What's up, Gabriel? How you doing, brother? Mr. Sweet Duck, I form a three star crystal after a old victory, and I open and got my third uh, three star. Oh, which, what's, what's BB? I don't know. My friend, can you tell us what BB is? BB, what's a BB? Black Widow, no. Beast, no. What can it be? All the love from Black Brazil, Ball. guys. Oh, see Black again. Just... <laughs> you got the comment before me again. <laughs> hey, my friend from Brazil. I know you're a friend of Canal Nine, right? Canal Nine. You're a Canal Nine friend, man. He's such a good friend. <laughs> Did you tell Canal9 that I uh, I miss his stream super busy with work so, and especially my work right now uh, with my work schedule and especially my work I don't have the internet over there so right now when I hang out and do all my stuff I go through my hotspot from my phone to have the internet and uh, to watch movies on my break times and do all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously I watch movies and I grind at the same time because if you just grind alone I just get it gets boring. So that's what I do my break times and because I played a lot with my iPhones especially my the mini bosses and bosses I take him down using the iPhone because you can tell sometimes I, I go for the parry and the iPad it doesn't read it I try to do a parry and I get smacked easy and I'm like man what's going on here so now I know his iPad the problem is with the iPad like he push black and he just stands still, that is doing nothing. And just, I do that on a, on a mini bus or bus, boom, you almost take you out. So now I do a lot of playing with my iPhone. So I turn off all the notifications because <laughs> I used to have all the YouTube notifications on, all everything on. So now I don't know when everybody goes on the stream. I don't know when they do anything. So I lost a lot of, uh, I lost touch with everybody that was streaming. Uh, and that's probably one of the reasons. 
one of the reason I kind of lost touch with the streamers out there. Hopefully, uh, you guys can explain the situation why I stopped going to the streams. It's not because I have something against them. It's just because I play a lot the hard fights. I play from the iPhone because the iPhone X is more responsive. Like if I want to swipe back, it does swipe back. I it plays. Sometimes I have very little problem with iPhone. Like I remember the other day, I tried to swipe back with Perry, and it didn't read it right away. I have to press a little bit harder. But as far as the iPad, with iPad I have a lot of issues, but because iPad has got the big screen and I do the grinding, who cares if you get a couple little punches here and there, it's no big deal. But when you play against the mini boss, you know what I'm talking about, or the boss, you gotta be careful. Right, Dr. Strange? Yeah, um... Who's that gonna say anything? No way, we got Alex in the house! My friend Alex42, we got Dr. Strange on the, on the Skype with us. And we're waiting for iChurch Pastor. Not sure if he's uh, still here. iChurch Pastor, you still here, my friend? My awesome bodybuilder friend. Look at Scully, which putting all that heel block on me. It's Sammy. I found an electrode in RWTO. No way! Yes! Thank you, sir. I knew it's got to be one in there. <laughs> cool. I have to go in there with the three star to practice. How, how much is the PI in that, dude? Is it, is it pretty high or pretty low? It's quite low. It's in round three, or, or cha it's in chapter three, round four. Okay, okay, so, four. so the PI of the champ is like, like you said, like around 3K or something? I don't know. I, oh. I mean, let me actually check on the chapter itself. Our time zone doesn't match, but it's all good every time it's, uh, it's possible we talk. Awesome. Thank you, Gabriel. That was very sweet of you. Uh, Sammy, I'm going to have to shave my head like BG and want to just call me, sir. Be if bald is bad. Why? I want to be healthy. No, it's not bad, man. If you lose hair... Shave it, but leave a little bit of goatee so you can have a little bit of balance. Don't shave your face and uh, you have a bull head. Usually all the people that shave their heads, they leave a goatee so you have a little bit of balance. Can you grow a beard, my friend Alex? I think iPhones is the best iPhone ever. iPhone iPhone 6S is the best iPhone ever. Oh, really? My wife hates iPhone 6. She's got nothing but problem with that thing. She move, that thing moves so slow. Like we read the Bible, we try to load in the Bible. It takes forever. It takes forever and ever. So she hates the iPhone 6. But as far as MCC, I don't know because I, oh, I use it. I think I use them on 6, but I, I switch. I always change. As soon as they come with a new iPhone, I change it all the time. Uh, Alex says, my iPhone 8 has an issue. And I slammed the phone to get blocked. And it doesn't always work. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I church passes through here. Yes. Uh, how long until you get on the Skype, my friend, Church Pastor, because I wanted to have uh, you pray with us, if you don't mind. I can actually call you on my cell phone and then put you on the speaker so everybody can hear because I'm pretty much down over here with my stream. I'm about to, I finished my 440s and 550s, and I'm about to go to the gym, and I'd love to have you pray for us, with, if you don't mind. I mean, I don't want to, you know, to put you on the spot. But I can, I can text you right now my personal cell phone number. Uh, I can turn up the stream uh, pretty quick, just the screen, so I can text you on the lineup my cell phone number if you want. Uh, okay, okay, bye. I have to go somewhere. Bye. All right, my friend Swaim, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for the advice on Gwenpool. I really appreciate it. So you and Doctor Strange agree to go to. Uh, oh, let's see what Alex thinks. So, okay, I want you here, Sammy. Pray for you. Oh, I just prayed for you at the beginning of the stream, my friend Alex. I prayed and I'm always praying for you. Uh, best of luck of 5 star. Oh, I'm not going for the 5 star. I'm just going for the 12 million just to get the 2,000 shards. I do that. Uh, so I do 24 million every week. But Alex, since you're over here, I wanted to see what your opinion is. Uh, Dr. Strange, he recommended. Uh, so we're talking about my next rank 5. So I have Blade and Medusa rank 5. And I'm thinking for my third one, when the time comes, I only have one basic right now, the tier 5. But I'm thinking for my next one, I have Magic, X23, Unawakened, Gwenpool, Unawakened. I know you have Gwenpool 
uh, you have Gwenpool Awakened, five star, rank five, and I know you finish LOL with her mostly. So uh, right now, because mine is unawakened and a magic, magic is awakened. What do you recommend I should do for my next uh, rank five? But an AQ, I'm using magic, X23, and um, Nebula, Nebula six star, because she's double immune. So what's your opinion? I'm not sure. I also I trust past if you wanna if you still if you stay here. Uh, what's your opinion as well? Sammy, I have sent you the picture of, of, of um the champs and then Electro. Like like in our RWTO that's like a list of like champions and electro. Oh man, thank you so much for doing that, man. I really appreciate it. Man, you did more than you did more than uh, I anticipated. Thank you so much, my friend. Let me just check it out pretty quick. No oh, check out! I passed it right there. Nice. Look at those guns. Let me uh, let me tune up this pretty quick, so I can text on my cell phone, my personal cell phone, in case she wants to call me for the prayer. Man. I'm typing over there, he doesn't want to read it. What? Some, sometimes, I don't know what the deal was. I already replaced the iPhone once. I mean the iPhone, the iPad once. Because it wouldn't, uh, like I was typing, and it wouldn't, I have to type super hard. Uh, oh, about 5 KPI. Unblockable SP1. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's go back in here. Okay, so that's what I was looking at right here with my friend. Dr. Stranger, right, cool. So that's taken care of. Okay, my friend, I church passed. If you're still here, I give you my cell phone number. If you wanna call me pretty quick, and I'll put you on the speaker, I'll probably be quicker than setting up the Skype, so we can do a quick prayer before I uh, before I go to the gym. And I'm kind of pumped because today I'm going to the gym. After the gym, uh, try to come home, or watch my my love. I call her Yubita. So I call my wife Yubita. Yubita in Romanian means love. So I call what Yubita. Watch, watch Yubita's car. So I want to watch uh, my love's car. Probably both of them. Maybe she needs to come with me to the car wash because I do the the water jet. The you know another one that you can now with the when you go to the machine it scratches the car so it's just the water jet only. And then uh, because obviously I need her car. <laughs> Um, I'm not taking my car because tomorrow I'm going cycling and I want to take one of her other car to go uh, cycling I put the bike on the back and because over here in California as you guys know it's been see I know I put the period didn't read it I hold the period nothing look again unbelievable that's exactly what I was talking about guys see that anyway in California over here we have a lot of fires I'm not sure if you guys heard that not too far from our house as a matter of fact when I was going to the office yesterday up the hill you can see the fires like literally you can see the flyer the flames and then uh, it rained a little bit I don't know what the rain came from just a couple drops out of nowhere so when I got out of the gym the car was imagine the ashes from the sky with the water when they landed on the car it looked terrible terrible so I got to work I parked inside I have spray wax uh, those guys in the, in the shop they have those clots the special rugs clean the car perfection <laughs> i drive home again <laughs> again the dust on the car oh, i think he's calling me hello pastor <laughs> i knew it was you i told him it's 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 here right now he's calling us how you doing brother man i'm good man how are you <laughs> praise the lord my friend i'm so happy to see um people that um have fire for the lord and uh, and using the social media, everything we can yes, to glorify the gospel and just tell people, hey, there is a God in heaven that loves you. And that's pretty much. Yeah, and I have a very easy approach, and I learned that from my pastor Steve Wilburn and Pastor Greg Lurie. Hey, I want to tell you something. There is a God in heaven that loves you. Have anybody told you about that? Uh, no, they haven't. As a matter of fact, you're probably the first one for today. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, you know, just a simple approach. 
just show yeah. show love and then uh, uh, try to do something good for God's kingdom. And my friend told me the other day, I don't know if you heard about this. It's actually they made a video. You know how they they were drooling towards the center of the earth because right now hell it's in the center of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. and, until the, the, the until the final uh, final lake of fire, which that's going to be later on. But right now the hell is on the on the center of the earth where Satan has got the power and then you know he's still the boss. But the thing is, so they were drilling. I'm not sure if you watched this, maybe you heard about it. They were drilling to go deeper or to find out something, you know, just something about the center of the earth. And he says the deeper they were going towards the center of the earth, they start hurting people, uh, voices, uh, voices, but not screaming, wailing, wailing of agony. And then they, they, they made a video, they put it on YouTube as well. So when the Bible said that, there is a hell and all that. People don't actually believe it, but there is a true hell. Outer darkness. Exactly. There is a there is a hell, and once once you go there, there is no way, no way out. And that's why I'm using this channel, my friend, to have. I know people probably don't listen and they just they like you know just like oh they laugh at me and they mock me or whatever. But if it's a one single person, one single person, they'll be able. To, that's right. It's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. Change. Um, <laughs> and uh and just you know just praise god for you man every time i see your uh come subscribe every time i see you pop up on the screen i'm like okay that brother's gone for it he's really gone thank you sir thank you jesus yeah do you know what my friend it's so hard for me i mean i don't want to say that and i don't say that all the time not to let people down but it's very very hard for me to um uh to do what i'm doing because I get a lot of uh, opposition, a lot of people putting me down, a lot of people talking trash. And I didn't, I mean, I got some very bad stuff that just happened to me because I've been talking about Jesus on this MCHC community. Oh, it went very bad. But I'm like, you know what, Jesus? I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I'm doing this for you. Uh, you die for me. So you save me from going to that place called hell. And Jesus talks more about hell and the Bible than talks about heaven because he loves us so much and he doesn't want none of us to go to that place of torment and once you get there man there's no way out no way out so i know people are now is gonna mock us man but if it takes only one person to change the destination it's totally worth it amen, amen. yeah so. <laughs> Yeah, I love it, man. I just told my wife that, like, yesterday when I left the stream, I went over there in the living room. Like, baby, check this out. Look, you know, this guy, you know, Chuck Foster, you know, he's been sharing the gospel for 20 years, and he's a beast to name COC. And she wouldn't believe me, like, nah. I'm like, it's true. <laughs> No way, you beat and, me. Uh, you beat me. I'm all, I'm getting close to 20. Yeah. I'm getting close to 20 years. Yeah, 22 years, man. It's the same beautiful woman, man. So, all right. For me, uh, MCLC helps me to just kind of veg out because I grew up in a, a comic book superhero type of guy. I love that stuff, man. I, I always gravitate towards that stuff. So that game is perfect for me. And it evolved. It's not the same thing. The game is okay. better. It's challenging. You can just veg out. <laughs> so, I saw it, man. The, the alliance, the alliance you're in right now, it's it's a beast. Is it bigger than Four Loki? The alliance you're in right now, because it looks pretty much. It looks pretty. I mean, you guys go ma ma master. I mean, that's that's next level. Yeah. You know, they 
Wednesdays, you got to know your schedule. To me, it's just communicating. Listen, I'm a pastor, so my Wednesdays are going to be tough. I got two Bible studies that teach. My Sundays are tough. I got, you know, I'm preaching. That's right. Mon you know, Monday through Friday, I'm, I'm doing a 6 a.m. Facebook Live. Teach, I, teach every, I teach Monday through Friday every day at 6 a.m. I teach the Word of God. Amen. Wow. So, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, you came right on time. Oh, James is in the house. I the Word of God. I teach the Word of God like every day. Yeah, that's a gift to be able to have that and then just to do it with such a love. Hey man. I love I love when I see people fired up for the Lord. It just fires fires me up and just keeps me going just to uh share the gospel. Tell people about Jesus. Man. Oh, I, I love God's word, man. It just, it's just so powerful. It sets you free. Hey, man. What you doing, map five? Four. Uh, map three. We're gonna start. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, sir, California. Uh, I'm gonna finish this fight right now, and then I'm gonna have you lift it up for us before I go to the gym. Time, all the time, brother. Oh, really? Yeah, keyboard working. Oh man, that's so cool. You have a lot of gifts going on. Doctor Strange has left. All right, my friend. Uh, thank you so much for your help, with Doctor Strange. Two James is in the house. My friend to James, uh, if you hear the speaker right now, I have my friend, I church pastor, he's another believer in Christ. And I he's, I call him oversaved, I'm just joking. <laughs> he's one of those guys that knows so much about the Lord, I'm always learning. <laughs> oversaved. This guy, he was just the comedian. Oh, I, this, this is a comedian on YouTube. He's like, oh, have you met those oversaved Christians? <laughs> that would love to pray more. Just, uh, it was funny, this comedian. And Tim Hopkins, another another Christian comedian that uh, me and my wife would just love to watch. All right, guys. So uh, I just finished uh, my energy right now, and uh, I'm gonna let my awesome friend, uh, um, I Church Pastor, to lead us in the prayer. And at the very end of the prayer, oh, my, oh, Mr. Um, I Church Pastor, you wanna you wanna finish the prayer like I do and finish with the calling and leave the people on the prayer uh, to lead them to Christ, or you want me to do that? It's up to you. I'll love you to. I'll, I'll love okay. for you to do it if you want. I'll, I'll pray and we'll see where the Lord takes us. Amen. All right, brother, lift it up. Let me stop the music. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm ready when you're ready. Father, we just thank you today, God, for just blessing us with another opportunity to get this thing right. I thank you for Pastor Sammy and for just the anointing that's on his life, God. I praise you for that, God. I praise you for the platform you've given him to draw your people with love, God, and that he has demonstrated through just his conversation, through his character, through it just his, his love for for gaming that, that is being used to draw people in to know the love of Christ. We thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. We thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, as that perfect sacrifice so that we could be redeemed from our sins and we would not have to die and be cast into a pit of hell and be cast from a pit of hell to a lake of fire. We thank you for redemption. But, Father, if there's someone that's listening right now, that's watching right now, that does not know you, Jesus, knock on the door of their heart and let them open up into you. Let them receive you as their Lord and their Savior, their guide, their God, their keeper, their strengthener, their encourager, their empower. 
God, we rebuke the devil and all of his tricks. We denounce them right now in the name of Jesus. And we accept you, Lord. We pray for these, your people that will be listening today, that someone will be lifted up. Someone's life will be changed. Someone's addiction will be broken. Someone's family will be restored. And we thank you for that, Father, right now in Jesus' name. We say amen and thank God. Now, if you're listening right now and you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm imperfect. There's no way that I, I can be ready for a God who is perfect. You're perfectly imperfect. All of us are flawed. All of us have fallen short of the glory of God. Every one of us have made a mistake. Every one of us have, been, have done wrong in the past. But the same Jesus that died on the cross for me, for Pastor Sammy, died on the cross for you so that you don't have to live with that guilt anymore. Forgiveness, you don't even have to ask for Forgiveness is already given to you. All you have to do is receive it. All you have to do is receive it. So pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. thank you that you conquered death and sin for me. I thank you that you conquered and death and sin for me. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I receive you as my Lord and, and Savior. And as I receive Jesus. As I receive Jesus. He receives me. He receives me. And because of my declaration of faith. And because of my declaration I of faith. I am saved. I am saved. change what you were wearing. You didn't have to change the location. All you had to do was have a changed heart and God gave you that perfect gift that he gave so many years ago in Calvary. God bless you guys. Amen. Man, what a beautiful prayer. What a beautiful prayer, guys. And usually you guys know as soon as I finish the prayer, uh, I read the verse of the Bible and I usually love to read just a simple verse, verse of the day. And today the verse of the day is from uh, Proverbs 10. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, uh, people who accept discipline are on the pathway, pathway, on the pathway to life. But uh, those who ignore correction will go astray. So what we're telling you guys right now, it sounds like discipline, which because we're trying to lead you guys to the pathway of life. And the reason I say it sounds like discipline, because we're saying to you right now, stop from what you're doing. Get, come to Jesus, accept Jesus into your heart. Turn away, turn from your ways, from what you're doing. Stop, repent, and come to Jesus, and you have eternal life. But those who ignore the correction, so those people that are like, you know what, get your mumbo jumbo Jesus out of here. I don't want to hear about it. Then uh, those people are going to go astray. Going astray from God, guys, is the worst thing you can do because the moment you lose God's help and God's blessing on your life, and you try to do things on your own, what's going to happen is the enemy will come and it just like just take you away from God. Because what happened is God protection. We don't want pushing God away. God said, I die for you. Don't go that route because I love you. So God is not the God of wrath and God of, he's the God of love because he loves all of us. Anyway, guys, so it was an uh, awesome day today. Uh, it was such an amazing surprise to have my friend, uh, uh, Pastor, I church pastor, uh, he's been pastoring for the past 20 years, and I love his prayer. I can't believe it how amazing he prayed for us. And uh, my friend, before I end the stream, you want to uh, send a couple more thoughts for um, anyone listening right now That um, just before I end? Well, just reminding you, man, that, that the life you and many of us live beneath our potential. God wants you to live in the best of your days. So just invite, the more you invite Jesus in your heart, the more you get into the Word of God, the more the Word of God gets into you. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. We're believing that your faith is going to change your destiny. That's what we believe. Hey, man. I could not agree more, brother. I want to agree more, but I can't because I agree to my maximum capacity. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> All right, Hallelujah. guys. Amen to that. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to let you guys go. Thank you once again, you guys, that you came in here. Why is this stream? Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, drop a like. And hopefully I can see you guys tomorrow, same time, same station. Uh, no, tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going to go cycling, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream. But if I want to see you uh, tomorrow, probably Sunday around 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, before my son goes to bed because I want to spend some time with my wife. And... Um, other than that, probably Monday we're going to pick it up. Same time, the station is now in the afternoon. So right now for me, it's, I stream from 2 from two o'clock p.m. to about 3.30 p.m., about an hour, an hour and a half. Right now we did only an hour because I woke up late. So I don't want to stream too long because I got to go to the gym. But other than that, uh, thank you, my friend, church pastor, for coming in here. 
praying with us for dropping the blessing on us from the Lord. It was an amazing, um, uh, how do I say it, you, surprise brother. from Jesus because I needed that. You know, when you get so down and then things are always going, you know, people are always, you know, talking trash and put you down, especially when you're doing something good for God and you come out of nowhere and you strengthen us, it just, it just, it just make, motivates me, makes me feel so much better. And like, you know what? Lord is speaking to you right now. Just don't give up. Keep on going. Keep on sharing the gospel. Keep on sharing it. Don't stop. And then God knows. Be not weary and well That's right. But in due season, you shall reap if you think not. You see how amazing God works? God knows when you need a little bit of push. And that, that's when he sends people like yourself and just, uh, uh, just to strengthen us. And I love it. That was so cool. All right, I love you too, Bryce. All right, guys, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next stream. And that was good.